Nancy Fetzer's Sentence Building. Lesson number 13, learning about verbs with no action. For this lesson, you will need the box the verbs with no actions worksheet and a blue crayon. We are ready to begin. Today is our fifth grammar lesson. In this lesson, you will learn more about verbs. Some verbs can be action words, and some verbs do not have actions. In our previous lesson, you learned the most powerful types of verbs are action words. They drive the action in a sentence. Powerful verbs tell what the noun is doing. Today, in this lesson, you will learn about verbs that have no actions. Here is our verb card for no actions. Look, both types of verbs ask the same question. What about? Both verbs ask the noun, what about? However, the action verb is asking, what about the noun? What is it doing? Action verbs are powerful verbs. Those actions can be physical actions, verbal actions, and thinking actions. Powerful verbs perform actions in a sentence. The verbs with no actions also ask, what about the noun? But instead of an action, they have the job of connecting nouns to words that rename or describe the nouns. The words in the pointed finger show many common verbs that have no actions. Instead, these verbs connect nouns to words that rename or describe the noun. Let's practice using no action verbs to rename or describe the nouns. Look at our chart for no action verbs. First, we need a noun. Who or what is our sentence idea about? Let's say a boy. Let's rename the boy as a magician. Next, we need a verb. The verb always asks the noun, what about? What about the boy? The hand pointing displays no action verbs. Remember, no action verbs have the special job of connecting the nouns to words that rename or describe them. That means we are either going to choose verbs that connect to other words that rename or describe the boy. The boy is a magician. Magician renames who the boy is. The word is connects boy to magician. The verb in this sentence will be is. The boy is a magician. Super work! That's fun! Let's form more sentences with verbs that have no actions. Always follow these two steps. Step one, who or what is the sentence about? Kids. Step two, what about the kids? The kids look excited. Excited describes how the kids look. The word look connects kids to excited. Look is a verb. Wait, 
Why do the three words at the bottom of the hand have S in parentheses as their final letters? This is how you read these words. Feel or feels. Look or looks. Seem or seems. When you form sentences, you choose the word that sounds right. Let's go back to the kids. The kids look excited. Now change kids to kid. This time, there is only one kid. That means the verb changes from look to looks. The kid looks excited. That sounds right. This is fun. Great job. Let's do another one. Step one. Who or what is the sentence about? The dog. Step two. What about the dog? Hmm, the dog seems itchy. Itchy describes what the dog seems to be feeling. The word seems connects dog to the describing word itchy. Seems is a verb. Let's change dog to dogs. Now there is more than one dog. So we need to change the verb from seems to seem. The dogs seem itchy. Great job. You are becoming verb experts. For our last idea, let's make sentences with no action verbs about the sun. For our first sentence, we will rename the sun. Step one. Who or what will our sentence be about? The sun. Step two. What about the sun? Rename the sun. The sun is a star. We use is as our verb. It's the word that connects sun to star. Star is the word that renames what the sun is. That's fun. Let's form another sentence. This time, let's describe the sun. Ready? First, name the noun. Who or what is our sentence about? The sun. Next, we need a verb that connects to a word or words that describe the sun. Let's describe how the sun feels when it is shining on us. Which verb sounds correct? The sun feel hot or the sun feels hot? Yes, the sun feels hot sounds right. There's only one sun, so the verb is feels. The sun feels hot. Hot describes sun. Feels is the verb that connects sun to the describing word hot. After learning about verbs with no actions, we are ready to find them in sentences. Let's get to work. Get into writing position, grab your blue crayon, and place the box the verbs with no actions worksheet in front of you. Let's get to work. This page shows two sentences with their idea pictures. The woman is a dentist. The bike looks shiny and new. Go to the first sentence about the woman. Follow my steps to find and box the no action verb in this sentence. Step one. Find the nouns. Remember, nouns tell who or what are in sentences, living things, places, or things. Don't forget that we read the sentence backwards, word by word, to find and check the nouns. Dentist. Dentist is a living thing. Dentist is a noun. Check it. A. Move on.
is. Move on. Woman. Woman is a living thing. Woman is a noun. Check it. The. Move on. We checked two nouns in this sentence. Woman and dentist. Super job. Step two. Find and box the verbs. Ask each noun what about. What about? What about the woman? The woman is a dentist. Use your blue crayon and draw a box around the no action verb is. A box is what we will use to show all the verbs in our sentences. The woman is a dentist. Is connects woman to dentist. Dentist is another name that tells who this woman is. There is one more noun we checked in this sentence, but it doesn't have words after it. So there are no more verbs. That means we have finished finding and boxing verbs in this sentence. Yay! Excellent job! Let's name and box the verbs in our second sentence. The bike looks shiny and new. Step one, check the nouns. Read the sentence backwards to identify the nouns and check them. New, move on. And, move on. Shiny, move on. Looks, move on. Bike. Bike is a noun. Check it. The. Move on. We now have checked all the nouns in the sentence. Bike is our only noun. Step two. Find and box the verbs. Ask the noun, what about? What about the bike? The bike looks shiny and new. Looks is a no action verb. Use your blue crayon and draw a box around the no action verb looks. In this sentence, the word looks connects bike to the describing words shiny and new. Looks is the verb. Excellent job. Boxing no action verbs is fun. Congratulations! In this lesson, you learned about verbs that don't have actions. These verbs connect the noun to other words in the sentence that rename or describe it. Great job! After you finish your homework practice page, you then will be ready for lesson number 14, where you will learn about adjectives the describing words.